going.
on, man. You could do better than that. Get serious. Come on. Hey, hit me up. See, that's what I like about the fair legs. You get to keep a little mystery about what kicks you're wearing. They can be rare, they cannot be. They have no clue. Mm. And your shoes can be a little quieter when you got something loud on top. Exactly, exactly. But I don't got to tell you that, Mr. Fashion <laughs> Cover Star. <laughs> oh, man. I appreciate the fit. That was fire. I told you, bro. I got you. I got the hookups. Speaking of the hookups, I saw that shirt you put on Insta yesterday. Yeah, you like that? I do like that. Where'd you get that? Uh, I'm going to keep that to myself. Uh. <laughs> you can't get all the secrets.
Those kicks, MP. Hey there, superstar. Go get him. Yo, MP. I'm expecting big things from you out there, bro. Brotherly love for the Sixers tonight, kid. Let's get that win. Have a great game, man. Philadelphia, home to one of the NBA's most historic teams, the 76ers. Here are the players arriving earlier, ready for action. Hi, everybody. Time to get into it. NBA action on 2K Sports. Hello, everyone. I'm Brian Anderson, joined by Grant Hill and Clark Kellogg. We'll hear from reporter Ali LaForce in a moment. A look at the Pistons' starting group. The backcourt is Caden Thompson. Isaiah Stewart out there with Boyan Bogdanovich. And it's Lewis in the center filling out the middle. And for Philadelphia, Mel the two with Harris at the three. Joel Embiid is out there with Paul Reed. And it's Harden in at the one. All right, Grant, as a team, how long do you think it takes to figure out if you're a legitimate contender? You know, B.A., a lot of teams come into the season thinking they are contenders. And they have to find out the hard way that, quite honestly, they're just not. But generally, I'd say you have a good idea after the first month yeah, or so. so you, can you hear me? And it's the Sixers to start out. Uh-oh. Hey, can you post. hear me now, uh, Durante? The shot no good. Some solid defense from Stewart. And so it's Cunningham with it. He brings it up for the Detroit Pistons. Coming off that win against the Sixers. <laughs> yeah, that was a hard-fought win for them. Couldn't finish the job in regulation, but things came together for them in overtime. And it could yeah, turn let me, out let me to know be one of their biggest me, uh, wins Durante. of the season. I mean, just because of the way they came through when it mattered most, that's, that's clutch play that could oh, serve them that, well that, going forward. That. And Philadelphia has possession. After the Pistons picking up a basket just moments ago. Uh, the ability to play the one makes Melton valuable. He okay, cool, cool. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. You let me know. Position. About a minute yeah, man, like I said, so if there's anything the going on, man, like, uh, let nice me know. Somebody not even know on my hand. 
who takes care of business on both sides of the ball. Yeah, I love that about him. Old school two-way guard, B.A. Let's see. Photo moments. Oh, uh, okay. He can make shots, he can make Sick plays, but he also can defend. Uh, okay. And he does it all with a level of professionalism and focus that you like to see. Now here's Harden. 15 in his last outing. MB draw oh, the double team. <laughs> yeah, MB be killing me, man. Melton so on the wing. I appreciate the double teams. Pass to Reed. Shot clock at five. Oh, why you didn't take that? Yes, and a nice assist from Harden. Man, just be passing up layups. Chances, he'll punish they give you up more. threes. Makes no sense. It makes now no him. sense. Nine points for him in his last game. Stewart, the pass to Lewis. Here's Stewart. And here's Cunningham outside. Woo. Here's MP. And Joel oh. Embiid pulls it down. A rare miss for him at point blank range. That's one he'd like to have back. Pass to Harden. Up top, Embiid. And the 76ers tack on two more. Up. Over the years, I think Harden's come a long way as a passer, and his teammates appreciate it. MP, a screen on Harden. Cunningham passes to MP. Embiid with a steal. Outside Harden. Pass to Embiid. Rebounded by the Pistons. Now here's MP. Bless you. Here's Stewart. Picked by Stewart. Here's Thompson. And the 10 footer finds a target. Good work down low. I mean, I like how confident Thompson is oh, for this yeah, area. No it seems win. you could bring in anybody oh, to this team and pair right him with now. Embiid, and they'd man, still win. Gotta, uh, oh, they got a solid roster. You know what I'm but saying? there's no denying that Embiid is the heartbeat of this team. The 76ers go how Embiid goes, kind of like our broadcast with you. And in the last five seasons, they've gone to the playoffs. He's giving his all, but you can't force yourself back on track. On the wing, Thompson. Pass to Lewis. Buries it down oh, low. Look, I got, I got really lucky good trip with that. I almost lost it. And yeah, Harden's man, got they got, the they got to put it on trip. Man. Like Dom, Dom not gonna be hurt by it. Harris outside. Dom, they could just like further the storyline of why Dom, that Dom needs mommy. MP against Embiid from deep. Melton can't hit. One for two now. You know, defensively, you just can't afford to give him that much room. They're fortunate that he missed that one. Lewis passes to Cunningham. Fires the three. Okay, I got that. After missing his first attempt, now one for two. Okay, so There's that screens. floor awareness okay, on so. display. MP feeling the overcommitment and then whipping that pass to the open teammate. Now a timeout called by Philadelphia. Yeah, they're hoping to turn things around with this timeout. Yeah, you know, they had to do something, anything to stop this run. You can't just let it go on any longer. Yeah, and I feel like... Uh, here for the 76ers. Tucker's oh, okay. checked in for Durant Tobias and they're going, uh, And Green MB. is subbed in for James Harden. And I got to go... 56 uh, seconds left in the Paul first Reed. quarter. Melton outside. And out of bounds. Detroit will have it. Montrez Harrell, he's right, checked in right. for the yeah, Sixers. He did. He did. Springer comes in for Melton. You know, he still had to be dirty, but hey, at least he won one without Rhea. The 76ers will have a different oh, look man, here. Got the lead Joel back. Embiid, he's checked in for Harrell. Harris comes in for Reed. Melton, he's checked in for Green. And it's James Harden in for Springer. And the Pistons will go for a different look here. Lewis has checked in for Duran. Stewart comes in for Livers. Bogdanovich has checked in for <sighs> Harris. And it's Thompson in for Kate Cunningham. And Grant, while James Harden is no stranger to trade requests, the Sixers front office is no stranger to him either. And they've shown the patience to wait for the right deal before. In the meantime, there's the business of winning games. At forward, it's Harrison Tucker. 
DeAnthony Melton out there nice. with James Harden. And it's Embiid in at the five down low. That's the group in the game for the 76ers. Here's Harden. After the Pistons picking up a basket just moments ago. Oh, nice block. MP with a block. And that rejection has to get MP's blood pumping. Defensive stops like that mm -hmm. really make an impact. <laughs> Once he breaks out the crossover, you just yeah, know they something do. special is about to happen. They do, but they still going to probably want to deal with each other, too. So, like I said, triple threat. Harden surveying Making the a triple threat. Obviously, he won't be at uh, Embiid high post. That one rolls around and rims out. Hey, how about imagining if they were hitting their shots, how big the lead could be? But so far, that's not been the case. And the basket is good. He got it to go, and he took the bump. So a free throw coming up, an opportunity at a three-point play. And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for the 76ers. Well, in today's NBA, the three-point shot is so valuable. They realize this, and that's why they're continuing to drain as many as they can. Another big component of their game early on has been their execution on the fast break. They're getting a bunch of easy baskets pushing it into uh, Well, MP in the last matchup against the 76ers uh, put on a show. He had 14 points, and he also dominated the glass. No surprises there. And he was clearly the best player on the floor, doing everything he could. Can he get it done again? We'll see, B.A. Okay, Ali, sure. thanks. Well, that was an incredible night for him. They rode him to that win. And he was more than happy to carry them, B.A. He might still be feeding off that performance heading into this one. Yeah, you know, all indications are that he feels good coming into this. One. Feels confident Anchor. that he can build on that prior success. Now here's Ivy. Looking at his numbers, currently he's averaging around nine points a game. Here's Lewis. Excellent oh. D there from Embiid. Well, you know, stopping him is never easy to do, but the defense was strong there. Pass to Harden. And here's Harris. Back to Embiid. Over MP. And it's Embiid again missing. Great work by the defense. That's the intensity coaches want to see. MP against Embiid. Here's Lewis. Embiid with a nice defensive uh. effort. Morris, he's checked in for Ivy. There's 37 seconds left to play in the first half of basketball. MP, the pass to Stewart. Rebound by the 76ers. Defeated by Detroit in their last game. They'll try to put that one behind them. And guys, it really was a thrilling duel all the way to the end. You, you hated to see anyone walk away the loser. I tell you, it's too bad one of them had to lose because I thought both teams were evenly matched in that game. The Sixers again can't hit. That's a decent look for him. He just couldn't convert. Bogdanovich passes to Morris. Back to Bogdanovich. Oh, it would have counted had it fallen, but it is offline. Yeah. And so a close game as we wrap up the first half of play. Sixers ahead. They lead by four. Don't go away. We'll be back momentarily. Welcome to the 2K Sports Half. Well, if I'm looking at what they did well, uh, first thing that comes to mind is rebounding. A lot of mm -hmm. hustle points off extra possessions. And most of the time, they limit their opponent to one shot. Yeah, good hard work on the glass, keeping them in the game. And moving on, let's take a peek at how oh, the okay. East is shaping okay. up here in the midseason. Okay, we the full C. Glad I you like could join that. us. Ryan Anderson and... Yeah, and since I don't have to, like, actually outplay MB, you know what I'm saying, to get some and points, after a fairly you know what I mean? first couple of quarters, this second half could and turn out to be a great one. As both teams trying to gain an edge. I'm always paying attention MP to the way he's really doing. making a difference here. And in the Instead first just half, playing. he dominated in the post. He got the looks he wanted and was able to execute. Yeah, you know what? I think he's doing exactly what he has to do. Using his body, shaking off contact, and then finishing at the rim. Setting the floor for the Pistons. Mm. The backcourt is Caden Thompson. Isaiah Stewart out there with MP. And it's Bogdanovich in at the three. Ooh. And one of the more imposing guys at the center position. 
Joel Embiid. As unique a player as we've got in the league All in right, terms of I his size. Girl. Just mammoth. And his agility and skill level. So special for a guy of his size. His production Ooh. is absolutely crazy. A perennial Embiid. MVP candidate now and perhaps for several years to come. On the wing, Harden. He's watched by Cunningham. Here's Embiid. The rebound by Stewart. Stewart's got rebound number seven tonight. MP outside. Back to Cunningham. MP is screen on Harden. Jacks up a three. It's hauled in by the Sixers. Embiid's got six rebounds here tonight. to Harden inside MP with the block now Bogdanovich the shot's good on the assist by Cunningham Cunningham's got three assists tonight and solid pass from Cunningham he has a good understanding for when the defense has overcommitted all right let's get a report from Ali Hey, Brian, Philly fans, they're known for their passion, and Tyrese Maxey said, I love them because they're real. They're honest and they're tough. They know the game, they know what they're talking about, and they know what players are getting out of it. They care about winning, and that's what I care about. Brian? Yeah, such a great sports city, too. Allie, thank you. Pass to Melton. Back to Harris. Screen by Embiid. Clock at four. His first shot attempt. Harris' shot is good. Now it's yeah, a kind seven of point in Philadelphia the back to lead. Embiid. Boy, that's a nice touch from Harris right there, showing you exactly how under control he is close to the basket. Well, Grant, you've been the up and comer, but you've also played the role of the veteran. What's the key to that latter stage? You know, B.A., your contributions as a veteran are felt just as much with your leadership as they are with your numbers. So sharing what you've learned with those younger players on the way up is so, so important. Here's Harden. Oh, MP with a block. To the middle. MP, the flush. Well, there's no denying MP has put in countless hours in the gym. And this type of performance serves as a testament to his work ethic. Pass to Embiid. Elbow shot. It's good. Off the assist from Harden. Harden's got his seventh assist of the game with that last one. Harden against Cunningham. Lewis. And MP throws it down. And he's not the flashiest, but MP can punch his ticket when the time comes. And the 76ers call time here. And the 76ers. Okay, we down six. The Sixers leading. Daniel House out there with P.J. Tucker. Then it's Montrez Harrell. Then it's Green. And it's Springer in at the point. That's the group on the floor for Philadelphia. Pass to Harrell. To the wing, right side. And stolen by Cunningham. Here's Lewis. And MP throws it down. And that's got to hurt. A turnover for a free run at the rim. And now we know who has the momentum. You know, those kinds of plays can be difference makers, game changers, momentum shifters, especially in a close contest where one or two Lucky. possessions can impact the outcome. Pass to MP. And Tucker pulls oh. it down. Tucker's got four That's rebounds. That's the easiest shot I had all night. 
to the inside. And he can't jam it through. Hmm. The nice way to get in there. To the paint. Here's MP. Down low. Hmm. MP drops it in. All five guys are in sync. Their ball movement is flawless. He'll be back in the it. last five trips they've had have ended with a great pass leading to a basket. They're really sharing the sugar. Here's Tucker. And uh. it's good from the elbow. Tucker's got his first points of the game. You know, when you're guarding Tucker, you've got to account for his jump shot. I mean, if you don't, he'll bite you. Here's MP. And that mm. one's good. Man, that's now 10 straight points in the paint. I'm not sure what's happened to their defense, man. I think they've really got to start committing more bodies down low and really kind of close that area off defensively. Time called here. The 76ers decide to talk it over. Both teams deciding to change it up. A chance here to catch up with Allie from the sideline. I was able to yeah, listen in on what right Nick Nurse had to say to the team. He like tried I to say, loosen the tension a little, asking his guys, are we having fun? I know I am. Just relax out there and follow the game plan. We've got this. Good job there, Allie. Thanks. For Detroit, they've gone three of four in the fourth and looking confident on offense. And he hits it and gets hacked. Mm. A three-point chance here if he can convert. Strong pass there to set up the basket. Free throw is off from Stewart. Mm. And Harris has got the ball here for the Philadelphia 76ers. They've led by as much as 10. And here's Melton. Throws it up high. MP with the block. Ugh. And that's out of bounds. Philadelphia will retain possession. And now it's time to take another view of that Ugh. huge swat. An emphatic rejection that was. Boy, you've got to appreciate that kind of forceful in-your-face defense. <laughs> no, no, no. Exactly. Looks like we might be going down to the wire again like Pocket last six. game. Harden, the pass to Embiid. Down low. Uh. Embiid puts it in. And then I can Once do he about gets that. that low, there's nothing you can do about it. Right, Embiid right. is That's a major a handful inside. Thompson outside. Cunningham passes to Bogdanovich. Down low. Here's Lewis. It's all in uh, by the Sixers. Embiid's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. For three, uh, here's Harris. The rebound by MP. And you just can't afford to give up oh, that kind double. of look very often. And we're about three minutes into the fourth now. Rebound. Come Philadelphia. on. Philadelphia has gone six for 12 from deep so far in this game. Oh, yeah, we got a there. Pass to Embiid. Harden from outside. The Pistons clear it. Now here's Thompson. And stolen oh. by Melton. Inside. Here's Harris. And Harris throws it down. The bigger the moment, the more Harris wants the ball. Big time shot there. And he's comfortable in that role. Ooh. And the slam dunk by Thompson. Okay. The great read between those two guys. The defense didn't stand a chance, B.A. These two teammates right here, Grant, they are connected. And I tell you what, guys, that's a big play to make another close block game. Potential beat. momentum builder there. To the middle. Here's Lewis. Second chance effort. Oh. And it's Harden who pulls down the rebound. Philadelphia has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the fourth quarter. Pass to Embiid. Second chance shot. The rebound by Stewart. Not sure if he just ran out of gas or what. He's been off ever since the second half started. Not even been a factor. Lewis. Joel Embiid with Are the board. Are you kidding me? Now all of a sudden I can't Trying hit. here to put the game out of reach. And that's why it's important to play this one smart. 35 seconds left in the fourth quarter here. Oh, he missed the layup. He had it with the pump fake. And this is so critical. They now have to score every trip up the floor. The defense needs to be just as sharp, but it's not over yet. Kicks it out to Cunningham. The three from Thompson. He's off from three. Outside Bogdanovich. 
to the paint. Here's Lewis. Count it! Man, they needed somebody to rise to the occasion. No surprise, it's MP. Hey. Much in the clutch. And Philadelphia calls time here. Man, me and him beat with a big boy battle. We missing layups. Missing easy inside shots. Are we going to overtime? Here's Embiid. Overtime. Regulation is ended, and okay. we are overtime. headed to overtime. Don't go anywhere, folks. We'll be back in a moment. Wait, I think the last game went to overtime. Yeah, yeah, look at the crowd. Yeah, look at the crowd. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Glad to have you with us as we get going in overtime. Neither team giving an inch in this game. All right, let's get it. Tucker and Embiid make up the front court. Melton the two with Harris at the three. And it's Harden in at the point guard position. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. I'll take that. So two free throws for him coming up. You know, one of the things I think that makes MP so fun to watch is how much fun he's having out there. You can tell the thrill what? of the game. Never gets old for this guy. And now they there we lead go. as the free throw drops in for him. They're ahead for now, but that miss could come back to bite them. Yeah. Pass to Embiid. Outside Tucker. Oh. Melton sinks it from distance. Oh. His three-point shots come a long way since Melton first man. came into the league. Just let me, just let me get him one on one, man. To I mean, don't leave his screen wide MP. open like that. To the inside. Woo! No good. Him oh. with a nice defensive effort. Pass to Harden. MP with a rebound. MP's got his 16th rebound on the night. Stewart outside. MP scanning the floor. Now here's Bogdanovich. Screen by MP. And Boyan Bogdanovich gets a three. And the Pistons lead by one. Punctuating the floor of the game with a big bucket right game. there. Bogdanovich making his imprint. Get that, get that, get that. Oh, we caught a break right there. They had to mismatch. Cunningham against Harden. Screen by MP. No good from outside. Oh, that would have been nice. Philadelphia has gone 7 of 14 from the perimeter in this one. Pass to MB. Tries to break his ice. And they pick up two. What confidence from Joel MB. Knocked that one down in a clutch situation. Screen by MP. Oh, you missed the me. Bogdanovich with it. And here's Cunningham. Shot clock at six. Launches it. And knocks oh! down the three. <laughs> <laughs> Great to see guys who don't back Yo, down this under is an pressure. Classic. Cool, calm, this is an collected, classic. and confident in the biggest moment of the game. Yes. And the 76ers call time here. They're losing by two. The boy probably asking for a trade right left now. In the OT period. Yeah, since Dan got traded like this, Horn Knicks, right? If I was Philly, man, I ain't trading nothing. Harden against Cunningham to the middle. Yo, yo, get him, get him out of there. Get him out of there. Yeah, been yeah. long that time. Well, that's a rare right, come miss get for it, him come inside. Come get it, Kay. Come get it, Kay. Just rushed it a bit. Maybe lost concentration, too. Cunningham. Oh, give it, give it, give it, give it back. Give it back. I got PJ on Tries again. And Joel and B oh. pulls it down. And so that it's hard to so He brings it up for the man, Philadelphia 76ers. I can't let anybody up. P.J. Tucker, man. Clock, one second differential. Inside. Here's Embiid. Money. Mm. And tie game. That is so bad right that they did. Hey, with this strength, 
Embiid How very physical. It's going to take a Tucker. lot more contact than that to rattle. Might have to start going for the hook shot, man. Instead of just trying to back people down. Cunningham with the ball. Down low. Here's MP. Missed it. And Philadelphia calls time here. They killing me with these maybe these missed layups, man. Yeah. Ooh, poked away. Oh, and nice, out of nice. Bounds. They say it was last touch by Cunningham. A great read to get a hand in there and disrupt the play. And, you know, even though they didn't come up with the steal, that's still a nice defensive play. Three-pointer, Harden. Oh, had Went to another overtime, to double right overtime. There. Couldn't get it to fall. Another tie, and we're going to have a second overtime. And as we play into another overtime, the tension continues to build. Both teams refusing to lay down. Pass to Tucker. To the middle. Good D by MP. And here's Detroit. Stewart finds Thompson. MP is screen on Melton. To the inside. Here's Lewis. And it's Philadelphia Come with the rebound. On. Harris has got four rebounds now. From deep, Melton on target from range. Melton's got six here in the quarter. Harris spots the opening and helps his team exploit it. Cunningham passes to MP. Ooh, nice deal. To the paint. Here's Harden. And then Harden with the jam. This is not unfamiliar territory for Harden. He is used to being the go-to guy, especially when his team needs a big hoop. And again, the Pistons missing. You know, to cut deficits, you got to be making smart basketball plays out there. Taking care of the ball, it's not done by hoisting up bonehead threes like that. Pass to Embiid. Just five on the clock. And Harden with the slam. And adding to this uh, lead right it's now. Over. Riding it's a wave over. of momentum. Yeah, you get the sense that they're going to start stretching this lead out a little bit. MP is screen on Harden. Here's Cunningham. No good. Had a chance to end the run yeah, there. Yeah, it's over. It's over. We no just collapsed. No need to rush here. Take your time. Take man, your time. we would have been winning this game, man. Reset. I'm missing all these layups, man. Shot. Here's MP. Let's the three fly. The rebound by Bogdanovich. Things aren't looking good here. I mean, they need points and they need them now. It doesn't look good, even with a quick bucket here. Pass to MP. Back to Cunningham. Inside. Here's Lewis. Yes! Mm. Gotta be excited for MP. Finally. These are the types of moments that he lives for. Hey, we and still we got time. Watching. We still got time. Now Philadelphia with it. Embiid from what the? Lewis what was the that? It's clear he's totally out of sync. The team needs to rethink its strategy around what to do with him. Bogdanovich passes to Stewart. Now Cunningham. The three. And it's Damn. good. And he's brought them within two points now. Not afraid of taking big shots. Cunningham rises to the occasion and delivers. And an intentional foul right there. I mean, hard not to do we need to be fouling. And that's an intentional foul. Who do we foul? Nope. So the first one drops. And that makes it a three-point lead. And Melton has continued to improve at a steady rate, which is something you like to okay. see. He's a versatile combo guard who always plays hard. MP is screen on Harris. The three from Thompson, and it's Philadelphia with the rebound. They've led by as much as 10, and they're going to prolong the game with an intentional foul. Getting a little desperate at this stage. I mean, the clock's the big factor. That's a good foul, though. I like that. I mean, clock management crucial at this time of the game. 
And there's a moxie to Embiid. I mean, he calls a lot of attention to himself and ruffles some feathers, but he backs it up. Two possession game now, guys. Some very important free throws there. I mean, we, need, we need a three right here. MP finds Thompson. Stewart with it. Takes a Stewart. three. Laces oh! one from three. It all started with the pass. That's what coaches what love Still to see. Over. Ball movement. And there's the intentional foul. No choice but to stop the clock here. He gets the first. And that makes it a three-point lead. And so both free throws good. And it's a four-point ball game. He snuffs out any comeback hopes with an impressive performance at the line. Detroit calls timeout. They're behind by four. Nine seconds left in the second overtime period. A three from the inbound. Cat. Oh! <laughs> That brings him within one. And a close game like game. this, Bogdanovich coming up big with that fast. <laughs> this game is insane. And now they foul and stop the clock. All right, building again. He hits the first one, and that'll put him up two. And he cannot oh, and he the second. It. That misses. Go, 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 go. From deep three-point land. Oh, it's good! <laughs> he hit it! Unbelievable shot. I have no idea how he gets that to fall. Well, I think I've seen it all now, guys. <laughs> and nothing's going to top that, I don't think. And Philadelphia calls time here. All right, guys, what's your take? Not enough time to catch and shoot there. They'll have to tip it off the inbound pass to get it up and down. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Yo, I'm good, man. I am good. Let's do it. Yo. So it's a narrow victory for the Pistons, <laughs> it, pulling it out to the count. W. Double count. overtime games are so grueling. And oh, after this one, yo. everyone, the it. officials, yo, the fans, the bitch, broadcasters, say where he been all game. This dude just rest. launches it. Yeah, I need that rest, it. I'll tell you. But, hey, he give them credit. The they really hits a shot dug deep into their energy no reserves count. and showed their determination oh. to get this win. That well, folks, that's going to do it for now. Yeah, Paul man. Kellogg, Grant Hill and Ali LaForce. This is Brian Anderson. Thank you for watching. So long, everybody. Yo, I'm exhausted after that game. <laughs> I'm exhausted. Oh, yo. Hey, yo. Look at that stat line. Man, we needed every bit of that. Every bit of that. Mm. Oh, man. All right, so time to catch. Try, try, time to try to catch Zion. Time to try to catch Zion. CJ McCollum, check in. Of course, I know about team practice. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, man. Okay, go to endorsement to, uh, to get the Ruffles contract. Okay. Mm, excuse me, I got the Ruffles contract. Nice.
rebirth. Uh, oh, wait. Oh wait, I know wait, let me let me go to uh complete it. Mm. Meet CJ in the city. Okay, okay. Okay, so I got that. Okay. So I can go ahead and change this then. I can go ahead and change my goat skills. I can get this uh whip playmaking. I can go back to my rebounding. Yep, got that ruffles deal. Take over. Badges. Okay, skill boost. Okay. Animation store. Okay. Just yet. Uh, okay, just gotta get my driving up to 75. There are Dawkins. Okay. Equip. Equip.
smash a whistle. I gotta do to get a uh Yeah, got that Ruffles endorsement. Rebirth. Right. Practice facility.
money in the bank. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, that's not good. Excuse me. We ain't fearing no deer tonight, kid. Let's go. <laughs> Yes. 
said, fear the deer. Right, ain't no fear to do it tonight. MP, time to do what you do. Yes, sir. Yes, an old school matchup tonight, Smitty. Here we go. Don't expect this to be a historic scoring night. Not at all. If you like defense, you come to the right place. I expect this game to come down to rebounding. The more you can limit second chance opportunities, the better. A look at the Pistons starting group. Cunningham and Ivy are the backcourt pair. Isaiah Stewart out there with Boyan Bogdanovich. And it's Lewis in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. Now here's MP. Stewart, right side. Six to shoot. MP finds Bogdanovich. Here's Ivy. Here's Lewis. Oh, and the dunk by MP. And MP, one of the up-and-coming stars. And now he's signed on to work with AT&T in their latest campaign grant. And from what I hear, B.A., it will include a lot of billboards featuring MP. He's got a great sense for marketing himself, and AT&T jumped at the chance to work with him. Here's Middleton, following the score by Detroit. Allen, the pass to Anadokounmpo. Shoots over Stewart. Anadokounmpo can't connect. And so it's Cunningham with it. He brings it up for the Detroit Pistons. Well, Grant, how do the Bucks put the pieces back together and make a run at another title? Well, the hope is this new coaching staff will unlock some new wrinkles and find ways to keep their offense from stalling in the clutch. They get it back. Mm. Excellent use of his physical gifts. Goes up strong and captures the board. No one near him. Detroit with a rebound. They just couldn't come out on top last time they took on the Bucks. That one in Milwaukee. And in their last game against this club, turnovers oh. really were a problem for them. A combination of unforced errors and just poor decision making. They need to be much better in that aspect of the game this time around. Now here's Allen. He's been productive, averaging just over seven points a game. And using that six foot seven frame to get in there and do work. Excuse Middleton me. will take on anybody. Here's Ivy. Cunningham, left side. Ivy finds MP from seven feet away. Oh, he missed mm. that one. One for three in this one so far. Just a little off to start this game. One for five, looking to find. Some kind of rhythm. Pass to Allen. Back to Anadokounmpo. From 13, and he hits the jumper. Okay. Yeah, sometimes okay. even Giannis needs help. The play okay. gets him all the room he uh, needs Giannis, to strike. Uh... And here's Cunningham. He'll bring it up for the Detroit Pistons. Four-point game. Lewis passes to Ivy. Now Cunningham. To the middle. And the ball oh. play. The Bucks will have it. And with a new class entering the league, here is our okay, rookie okay. race. A look at the early returns. Plenty of time for someone who might not be on the list to become a big time mm -hmm. factor. You look at MP. What an incredible start to his rookie season. Sitting in the number one spot right now, but I'm sure this will be an exciting rookie race. And you know his confidence must be soaring, sitting at the top of this impressive list of young talent. Even though this season's just getting started, it's a big accomplishment, a testament to his relative maturity. Good shot, gone bad. You gotta finish there. Just under three and a half minutes elapsed here in the first quarter. Sinks that one from mm, the give post. And, go. and his teammates appreciate the unselfishness. Bogdanovich willing to get it to his open guys. Milwaukee in the lead. Outside Holiday. Allen outside. There's the three. The rebound by MP. MP's got four rebounds now. The Pistons have gone two of six to open up this game. 
Pass to Cunningham. MP a screen on Holiday. And it's Cunningham missing. The Bucks have gone just three for seven here at the start. Middleton outside. Portis with a screen on Bogdanovich. Kicks it out to Anna Kumpo. Here's Allen. Lewis with the rebound. Lewis has got his fifth rebound in this one. Cunningham passes to MP. Back to Cunningham. Got a hand on it. Oh. Terrific two-way player. Drew Holiday not giving an inch. And he sends that one way back. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. For three, Allen. Lewis with the rebound. The Pistons trailing. Stewart finds MP. And here's Cunningham. Allen defending. Here's Lewis. Kicks it out to Cunningham. Back to MP. Well, good close contest so far as we finish the first quarter. Bucks ahead. Hmm. A new group getting ready for the Bucks. Portis, he's checked in for Lopez. Middleton comes in for Crowder. Allen, he's checked in for Connaughton. And Drew Holiday is subbed in for Beasley. Milwaukee has gone three of six from outside in the second quarter, setting the floor for the Pistons. Cunningham and Ivy are the backcourt pair. Joe Harris out there with Isaiah Stewart, and it's MP yeah, he hits in at the that five spot. And they're trending in the right direction after a rough first quarter from the field. Cunningham passes to Lewis. Cunningham against Holiday. Nice work beyond the arc by Cunningham. For K, consistently knocking down threes, it'll open up the rest of the court. Harris oh, against man. Middleton. Allen outside. Here's Portis. And then hmm. Portis with the dunk. This is what they want to see. Portis finishing strong inside, making his presence felt. MP, a screen on Holiday. Cunningham passes to Lewis. MP, the flush! One sign of a great playmaker, hitting his man in stride. For Milwaukee, they've gotten seven of 13 attempts to go here in the second. Allen, outside. Outside Holiday. Oh, nice pass. The Pistons clear it. Lewis has got seven rebounds in the game. Cunningham, outside. MP up top. A 26-point game for him in the win against Philadelphia. He was a shot-blocking nightmare out there. Four blocks on the game oh, and some come on. shots as well. Holiday with the ball. Picked up by Cunningham. Holiday passes to Middleton. And the Bucks getting another mm. bucket right there. I mean, a tremendous all-around talent. Drew Holiday keeping his eyes up and his options open. Stewart finds MP. Ivy outside. And here's Cunningham. Pass to MP. It's hauled in by Portis. Portis has got six rebounds now in the game. Holiday surveying the floor. On to Kumpo for three. Rebound Detroit. MP's got his eighth rebound here tonight. Detroit has gone two for two from the arc here in the second. Harris passes to Lewis. Back to Harris. From outside the arc. Another shot. It's good. And he drew contact on the shot, so he will go to the line. A three-point play opportunity. And it's tied up with that one. Yeah, what you like about MP is how okay, hard he worked to put pitch. himself in a position for success. The Bucs have gotten half their shots to fall in the second. Eight for 16. Middleton outside. To the inside. And it's Lopez. Uh. That time on the assist by Middleton. Lopez has got 10 points. 
I mean, mm. the versatility of Middleton. Not Man. just a scorer, also a solid passer and distributor. And the first half comes to an end. We've got a close game going here. Bucks ahead, up by two. And don't go away. After the break, we'll see you right back here for the start of quarter number three. Well, the loss of George impacts both sides of the ball. He stretches the floor, he can drive it, mm -hmm. and he can guard one through four. Yes. Yeah, so Shifting focus. Injuries. How about this tight game the Detroit Pistons find themselves in? Their effort on the glass is keeping them competitive. They're and that is going to... We've got second half action for you. And if the next couple of quarters are similar to the first, this one could go down to the last possession. One of the stories here, Brooke Lopez getting it done today. And he was a beast on the offensive glass in that first half. How can they slow him down? Basketball 101, you've got to put a body on him. Unfortunately, that's a fundamental that's gone by the wayside. At small and power forward, it'll be Middleton and Giannis. Holiday and Allen in the backcourt. And it's Portis in at the five. That's the five on the floor for the Bucks. And Grant, these days, more and more teams emphasize the importance of switch defense. It's so true in the modern NBA, B.A. Every team has to be able to switch to take away a lot of the action of the offensive team. So having defenders who can guard multiple players on the court is a must. Well, MP in the last matchup against the 76ers put on a show. He ended up with 26 points, and he also turned in a season mm. high in the rebound department. He was such a difficult matchup in that one. We'll see how he follows it up tonight. Brian? Great report there, Allie. It was obvious he could do anything he wanted. A fantastic win. Well, I'll tell you, he was enjoying himself out there, kind of like us here in the broadcast booth. And whoever was matched up against him wasn't enjoying themselves. What I like is they just kept calling his number. Sometimes we see coaches go away from what's working, and we wonder hmm. why. Count it. Putting in the work to find a high percentage shot. MP knows what he's doing. Holiday passes to Portis. Hmm. Good on the bucket. Portis has got six. And you know Coach loves seeing his offense operate at this level. Great passing out there. Here's Ivy. The rebound by Allen. Out of character for him to miss that shot. Maybe just a little too casual there. Well, Smitty, we're used to seeing NBA father-son combos, but how about the Ivies? Yes, B.A., Jayden is the son of a former <sighs> WNBA star, Neil <sighs> Ivy, a big-time Division I head coach. She schooled Jayden in the driveway. So much fun seeing the mother-son pro connection. MP, no good. The Bucks have gotten two of four shots to go since the break. Out to Kumpo, the pass to Holiday. Allen outside. Pass to Out Kumpo. Kicks it out to Middleton. Takes the three. Good. And Out of Kumpo gets the assist. Out of Kumpo has got five assists in the game. Detroit calls timeout. And as we head into this break, the players have an opportunity to replenish their energy with Gatorade as they prepare to go into the final stages of this ball game. Absolutely. Over the course of a game, not to mention over the course of a season, you have to stay hydrated. If you don't, it's amazing how much slower your body is to bounce back. It can have a serious effect on performance, no question. Ivy finds Cunningham. Stewart is screen on Holiday. And it's Cunningham missing. The Bucks have gone three of five from the field in this third quarter. Portis with a screen on Bogdanovich. Middleton against Bogdanovich. Beasley outside. On an Akumpo for three. And the Bucks mm. hit again from deep. And they're playing rock solid basketball right now. Really starting to see that lead grow. They have just nailed their halftime adjustments. That's for sure. They don't want to have to sweat this one out. They're looking to pull away. MP, the pass to Bogdanovich. Portis with the steal. 
to the paint. The strong finish by Giannis. Mm. And they're building up steam. Getting out in front and trying not to look back. They're doing it by building it out. Step by step. Oh, God, we getting destroyed. Detroit calls timeout. Dang. Here's Duran. MP outside. Baseline jumper. The mm. rebound by the Bucks. Setting the floor for the Pistons. Thompson out there with MP. Then there's Jalen Duran. Then there's Kate Cunningham. And it's Morris mm. in at the one. This is a tough kid. Holiday's fought through injuries. He's a physical player and a fearless player as well. And a moment to check out the scoring breakdown for Milwaukee. They've been lights out from three-point land in this one. The defense hasn't been effective at stopping them. So they have just stuck with the game plan. And another note, how about the way they've cashed in off turnovers? Mm. Taking advantage when given the extra opportunity. Incredible performance by MP. He has been on a tear. Anadokounmpo looking it over. Middleton from the outside. The rebound by Bogdanovich. Portis with the steal. And he drives in. And then Portis <laughs> with the dunk. Aggressive Portis. And Portis handles the ball better than most guys his size. MP, the pass to Stewart. MP is doubled. Pass to Stewart. Three-pointer. Good. And the assist hmm. goes to MP. Stewart's gotten himself on the board with a three there. That's a shot the defense looked like it was willing to give up. Big mistake. It's stolen by Bogdanovich. The open shot, Cunningham. Again, the Pistons score. Working off the ball, you still yeah, have to keep track of Cunningham. He finds ways to score. Holiday against Cunningham. Oh, that's the feed. Oh. The jam. Giannis. Impressive how in sync Giannis is with his squad, enabling them to set up a flashy alley oop. Cunningham against Holiday. Cunningham passes to Ivy. Second shot opportunity. Lewis can't mm. get it to go. What a defensive play. Gets the stop and does it without fouling. Stewart against Anadokounmpo. Rebound Detroit. MP's got 13 rebounds in the game. Glass eating. And the distance between the point totals for these teams tells the whole story. Just a fantastic effort, and you have to give it up for the Bucks. In today's game, you need to shoot it well from three. That was the difference maker. Exactly. And the defense didn't rotate out quickly enough to disrupt their shooters. And reaching a nice milestone, an even 20 wins on the year. Oh. And once this game is all said and done, they'll have a healthy 2-0 lead in this season series. And it was a reliably solid performance from one of their key guys. A tremendous game for Giannis Antetokounmpo. You have to appreciate the unselfishness. He kept the ball moving, kept everyone involved. Really enjoyable to watch. And it's a completely new group for the Bucks. And a new group getting ready for the Pistons. Duran, he's checked in for Stewart. Thompson comes in for Bogdanovich. Burks, he's checked in for Ivy. And it's Morris and in Jake for Rowe. Cunningham. Connaughton with the ball. Now Burks defending. Pass to Beasley. Up top, Lopez. Connaughton with the ball. Defended by Burks. And here's Crowder from the arc. Duran with the rebound. And this is exactly who you want taking that shot. He just missed it. We've got 33 seconds left in the fourth quarter. On the wing, Burks. Shoots over Connaughton. And Burks with the basket. On the assist by MP. <laughs> One positive takeaway. At least they're finally showing signs of life out there. Right. They put together too too late, some great though. possessions here at the end. It's a shame they could have used this run much earlier. 
Now here's Lopez. Six on the shot clock. A deep three. Beasley misses. We all know he's a good shooter. But from that distance, uh, I don't think so. You know, we're seeing players move further and further back to create space. Mm. But that does make it a tougher shot. And so it's Milwaukee easily oh, grabbing okay, this one. I about to say, is that this John one was Wall? a fun one to you watch. John Wall. They were clearly in the Yeah, I got a B grade. Oh, okay. Congratulations, you got a pro touch to goal. Alright, I got my first gold badge. I can get pro touch to uh, Hall of Fame. Alright. Yeah, see, that's a tough loss right there. See how schedule practice. Oh, check back with Josh Giddy. And talk to Kay Cunningham in the yard. Alright, I'm gonna talk to uh, Josh and talk to Kay, and then that'll be it. Yeah, man, they uh, yeah, they 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 whooped up on us. Yeah, they whooped up on us pretty good. I wonder what uh Drew Holiday gonna do because I think uh, he gonna get uh released from Portland. They gonna buy him out and he can go wherever he wants to. So it's gonna be real interesting to see where uh, and he gonna be a big help to a team to a contender. Yeah, so can't wait to see what uh Drew Holiday gonna do. I know teams gonna be fighting for him like hell uh, Miami. Cause like I think, you know, Kyle Lowry, I think uh Yeah, he might he might his days all pretty much uh I wouldn't be surprised if this was like uh his last year. You with Giddy? Oh, okay, he over here. I'm about to say, where you at, homie? Getting better quick, man. Reminds me of a young me. Mm -hmm. hey, like yeah, you Miami. Said, yeah, they definitely need a lot more. They lost. They lost. They lost Struz and they lost. They lost uh, sure. the and they lost, uh you know the dude who signed with the Lakers. Who was their point guard? So, uh, I'm looking right at him. Because yeah, well, Struce went to so Cleveland, and then your boy signed with, you. uh, well, with, the, with the Lakers, sir. so they down two guards right there. Overdrive badge D tier, so. Okay. I thought I was supposed to go holler at somebody else. I thought I was supposed to holler at Cade about something. Okay, yeah, there it is, yeah. Talk to Cade at the yard. Well, first things first, though. Badge perks. Okay, so I got another uh perk. Which one did I want, though? Pro 
little touch. I want to get, uh, yeah, I'll put hook specialist right there. New side quest. Holler at Cade and then I'm gonna call it a night. Gay Vincent, that's it. Gay Vincent. Yeah, sign, sign with the Lakers. Yep. Yeah, so Miami, yep. Now, Miami, they gonna need another big man because uh, that the Zella, Zella, Zella is not it. Zella is not it. Yeah, they need another big man. Yeah, Miami. Yeah, I don't think Miami's gonna. Uh, Miami. They like they, they they got heart, but yeah, they gonna definitely need to do some upgrading. I mean, like I say, Tyler Hero would be back, but yeah, they need they need a lot more, man. Maybe they'll play Duncan Robinson. Uh, play High Tower. Uh, yeah, they got yeah, 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 they got they got Miami. Got Miami got work to do. See. Is this where Cade at? Yeah, Zella. Like, I'm, I'm trying to think, man. I think, what, how many Zellas was it? Was it three of them that was in the league? I'm trying to think how many Cody Zellas was it. I think it was at least three of them. Yeah, but the one they had, yeah, that dude won it. That dude won it. Matter of fact, what's the uh, the Jokic the uh, Jokic dude they got? Like, how tall is he? They need to play him. But I never wanted to model my game after one guy. Took a little from J. Kidd, a little from Grant Hill, T. Mac Bird. Ah, okay. Because you want to be well rounded, and you want to do it in a way that makes sense for you. Exactly. You gotta do everything on the court at a high level, and not just the physical stuff. Your mental is huge. Shh, most underrated part of the game. Like when you're coming around the screen, you got a defender on your hip. Your vertical is not going to help you figure out what to do next. That's all mental. Okay. That's true, man. People don't understand how deep this game is. They think it's just dribble, pass, shoot. That's why you got to work on everything a little bit at a time. <laughs> Facts. Appreciate you, bro. What's up? Hmm. Immunity C tier, so. All right, what's next? What they got? Okay. Poem games. Badge perks. Okay. See. Okay. Come back here. Float game. Free points. Giant slayer. Mini position. Which one do I want to use? Hmm. 
Yeah, I mean, rookie of the month, so. I ain't nowhere near that. I'm not catching that. Career achievements. Rebounds. Blocks. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and uh, end it here, so, uh, hope y'all enjoyed the stream, like I said, I'll be back on it, uh, really making, uh, some progression, so, uh, hope to uh, catch y'all on the next one, peace.